What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And let's talk about it. Chris Riggity Riggity Rock. Now, Chris Rock is playing a very dangerous game here. Messing with a married woman. Listen. There was a certain respect you gave to a human being when they were going through a divorce. Like, you didn't speak um their marriage or trying to hook up with her like, oh, I heard they separated. I want to go to La La Land. They could be reconciling. You don't know what's going on. But now you have publicly done that on a platform on national television. Now, because of the internet, that's everywhere. You think you're the only person that wanted to get up with Lala? There are plenty other people in the industry that wanted to get up with Lala. That's bigger than Chris Rock. But here's the kicker. They knew better than to go on national TV and to say something like that. He's going to try to make it look like a joke because he's a comedian, but he wasn't joking. And then when they said, well, aren't you, cause you and Carmelo friends? I mean, we know each other, but I wouldn't say we were friends. Not like that. So when you make a declaration like that to a man that's married who still love his wife, you're playing a very dangerous game, Chris. And I've told you, uh, Chris Rock, I guess in his 40s, went through a midlife crisis where he just said, well, black, we don't really live that long. So I think this would be my midlife crisis right now when I'm 40. So during his 40s, he was wilding. Oh, he was wilding. If you was a black actress in Hollywood, Chris Rock, that was, there's a future in it for you. I'm here to help enhance your career. <laughs> you get with me, I make sure you get on the right TV show. He couldn't help his wife get her career on track. But she was more into helping people from Africa and everywhere else. She was more into the charitable things. And that just wasn't attractive enough for Chris. Chris says, we got too many children. I mean, now that we divorced, can we get one of those kids back? I mean, we adopted it from Africa. Can't we just give it back to Africa? I still got the receipt. <laughs> so... Why he's going through the custody battle that ended up bleeding him out of all his cash. All he was doing was cheating during the whole marriage anyway. And kept getting busted. That's when you want it to be over. So other actresses who want to get a look or get some parts and want to go to the Emmys and want to be seen at the Oscars. So people could say, who is she? And it helped advance their career like this uh, Megan, Megan Lynn or whatever. Uh, I remember her from House of Lies. She was in that. She was on Supernatural. You know, that's probably the most we've seen of her. She was on Chicago Fire, I believe, or Chicago Blue. And it got her a look. You know, now she's in a film with Don Cheadle. You know, she's being, you know, showcased on the first season. And, you know, she, she did, played a lot of roles. But she's like almost 20 years younger than Chris Rock. And I told you, he's a poon hound. And I told you, when Chris was growing up, it wasn't like every chick in the world was throwing themselves at Chris Rock. <laughs> like, ooh, I just want to bang Chris Rock. No chick, even when he was Chris Rock, the Chris Rock, no chick was really out there like, ooh, I just want to bang Chris Rock. That was never the choice. So 
Now, Carmelo is ticked off. And he's ticked off because of the simple fact you don't he don't like nobody playing with his wife. You see how the Kevin Durant, I mean Kevin Garnett situation went? What you think he would do to Chris Rock? I mean, you shook this man's hand on the basketball court while he was playing. And then you turn around. <laughs> he don't even know I'm going to get his wife. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get his wife. <laughs> Been still a wife, man. I'm going to tell you right in front of my daughter. <laughs> I'm going to get up. Why? <laughs> la, 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 la. <laughs> Come with me. <laughs> so you going to see how Melo responds to this. Because he thinking they better get, he going to go up there, Dolan, Dolan, you got to do something quick. I can't come back to the next game if y'all still got Melo on the team. I need him out of New York. Put him somewhere in Phoenix. I ain't going to Phoenix no time soon. See if he want to go there. <laughs> that way I can have Lala all to myself. <laughs> oh, man. I'm telling you, man, this, this game is as weird as it is. It's it's funny. It makes you laugh because you can't believe like this is real life and people actually go through this stuff. But it is what it is.